know Nolan Ryan has a good arm, but how good are the fists with both teams Wednesday night? One of the most interesting nights in this baseball season. Things have been getting tense in the AL West. The pennant race turning physical with a couple of brawls recently, but there were few who could have expected what happened Wednesday in Arlington. With Texas seven back in the loss column, sending legend Nolan Ryan against first place Chicago. The all-time leader in strikeouts would get a punch out of a very different sort in Texas. To the highlights of this game, it was 2-0 White Sox when Alex Fernandez comes inside on Juan Gonzalez. So the very next half, Benny Robin Ventura runs scoring single early. He aged 26, Nolan Ryan aged 46. Was he throwing at him? Robin thinks about it and says yes. And watch. And count. Nolan, six consecutive punches to the face, and then everyone gets involved in the melee. Ryan just grabbed him like he going to grab a steer when he brands him, right? Six consecutive punches, and then the melee ensued after that. The amazing thing in all of this, Ventura was tossed. He can charge him out. He should have been. But Nolan was not, despite throwing enough punches to get you thrown out of an NHL game. There is respect for a legend, but it was a travesty that he stayed in the game, despite throwing those punches. It's Matt Marullo striking out. He pitched very well in this game. Pitched through seven. Texas wins by three, getting within five and a half of the West. Nolan Ryan for his career with 322, one that will be remembered for the other things done with the right arm. I've had a couple of conversations, but nothing of that nature. I think last one was Dave Winfield back to the National League. When you saw his moment of indecision, what was going through your mind? You know, you don't remember what goes through your mind and something like that. Were you surprised you put him away that easily? <laughs> All I know is I was on the bottom of the pile and it felt like their whole bench was laying on me.